Then check out a game called Tech Support Era Unknown, in which we have to become the best tech support specialist the world has ever seen. Create profile, change icon, yes, red for temperamental and nuclear for nuclear explosion. I am a male last time I checked. Kicks, January 1st. Difficulty is experience default, excellent. You must set your last name. Um, I don't have a last name. I am like Cher. Confirm. Day one. Kicks, I don't have a last name. I am like Cher. That's great. It's your boss on the first day saying that to you. You're kind of like, okay, that's TMI. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Text speak, nobody cares. Company chat. Respond to this email and I will remotely unlock the test, the support desk to get you started. So let's see, before we get started, what else do we have here? We have the Net Traveler search. What would you like to know? If you don't ask anything, I can't answer you. I don't know. You tell me what happened with the wheel. It's cost revolution. Okay, this is all pre determined text. I don't do this. What is Indigo? Tell me more. A hacked this group better known for fighting against large media corporations sometimes referred to as a terrorist cell. What is Quasar? A multinational telecommunication organization dedicated to providing world-class media services including mobile internet news and more. That's who I work for. That's interesting. International Bank. Oh, I have actually a bank account. Look at this. That's brilliant. I like that. So next time I get a check, for, uh, I get a statement from my bank, I'm going to ask them, could you please put a sad face on my account because it makes me cry every time I have to look at it. Wallpaper world. Is there anything that looks like a hacker? Oh yeah, this looks like hacky stuff. There we go. Look at that. Okay, so let's reply to the email. Otherwise, we can't get started. Thank you for your warm welcome. I'm ready to start providing very best tech support of Quasar customers. She has no idea that we're not going to do anything. Um, you'll find desktop, uh, support desk file attached to this email. Okay, let's download it. And let's reply. I look forward to speaking to you directly and getting my first new ticket completed. Oh, I'm so enthusiastic. Yes. And you know what, just, just so we can be very sure that she understands we're mean business and that we want to really be the best, we're going to send random emails to her. I wanted to thank you for the opportunity. Yes, sent. So I already replied to her four times in the first 10 minutes of my job. She's probably going to look at all these plus say, God, it's one of those. Hope you settled in, solved problems. I couldn't find a record of your previous employment. Do you need any help with support desk? You can answer using yes and no options in chat window. So how are you, Kamala? I remember my first day. I was so nervous. Quasar is a great place if you're diligent and hardworking. And what else can you tell me about you? We have a lot of work ahead, so we should focus on that. Okay, thank you. We should receive a ticket very soon. Oh, wow, okay. Hello, my phone just died. Okay, so how are you? Just looking forward to the weekend. Ah, oh, I hear you, yeah. Anything interesting? I appreciate the politeness, but I just want to resolve my phone problem. Have you tried turning it on and off again? Uh, I can do the off part, but the on portion will be tricky since it doesn't turn on. Well, in this case, I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to escalate the issue. I understand, thank you. This is easy. Hello, mister, I have a problem. I'm gonna escalate the issue. Oh, I see, thank you. This is great. Okay, what's your problem? Escalate the issue. Sure, thank you. I'm loving this. Um, mister, I don't have a last name. I'm like, <laughs> why does everybody has to tell me they don't have a last name? I just received a notification concerning your subscription to our real estate newsletter. To confirm your registration, simply reply to this email. Well, we are the nice guys. We reply. I confirm my interest. Yes, please send me all the spam my way that you can. Oh, you know what? Let's send Kamala an email. Just making sure she understands that we're really happy to work here. And let's send Alexander an email. I said, Really wanted to thank you again for your service. We're going to be the most polite person to such a degree that everybody just wants to do not talk to us anymore. Oh, sorry, I had to wait for a minute. Um, understaffed, are we? I'm going to escalate the issue. It's Quasar, you've got questions. Tough luck. Some specialist you are. Ooh. Oh. I'm sorry to interrupt. I was observing you dealing with Mrs. Green. Yeah, she was being quite irritating. You could, I, I could have handled it better. You, you did see what she typed. She was being a smart ass, okay? Because you never asked the customer. Uh, well, it was very clear what her problem was. I don't think I needed to ask. Yes! Oh, we aced this first day with e escalating everything. That's how I perfectly like my tier one support. About the warranties. Congratulations on a successful first day, blah, blah, blah. Extended warranties cover every issue. Custom oh, okay, so we get extra stuff now. Here's some basic information about the two types of warranties our customers can access. Extended warranties cover every issue a customer may encounter. If you are unable to troubleshoot a problem, it should always be escalated. Standard warranties only cover technical issues and not problems caused by the customers themselves. Therefore, cracked screens and wet or lost phones should never be escalated. Instead, simply reply that you cannot help them. I like it. Escalate or cannot help. I love it. 
customers with no warranty should never be escalated. However, you're still expected to offer them tier one expert. Yeah, 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 blah, blah, blah. Well, hello, young man. What's the problem? I can't connect to the internet. And what is your warranty? Do you have a warranty on your device? Of course, it's still under standard warranty. Oh, what the hell? I'm sorry, I'm in, but I've forgotten the reason for my call. I'm getting quite old, you know, I called... Okay, great, that was the easiest ticket. She looks like, I don't want to call support. I heard about this guy. I don't want to talk to him. Who is this Carlton guy? Hello, my name is Kix. Kix, I finally managed to get through to you. You would think that getting in touch with my own brother would be much easier. Oh, the story gets juicy. Look, I'm sorry to contact you at work, but you're not answering my calls and ignoring me on social media. Um, that should have given you a hint. Obviously, I don't like speaking to my brother. I don't know what to do anymore. So, how are you? Okay, who's Spence? Sorry, I didn't have time to officially introduce myself until now, but I've been very busy. Well, that's okay. You can call me Spence. And I'm basically the tech guy for the tech guys. Oh, don't sell yourself short. That is also how I managed to just pop open a chat window being a tech god. Oh, oh. It's already, this is the type of guy you just know you can't stand. The moment he opens his mouth, you just know that no. I'm a tech god. I'm a very modest person. But enough about that. Are you enjoying your time working for Quasar? I'm sure you had work, but you're really going to regret losing out on this deal. So what's the story, Colton? I don't know which one is more annoying right now. It's a lot of long hours taking care of mom and the kids. I hope I can land a job soon. What's the problem? I'm the head of IT department for one of the world's largest telecoms. All right, here we are. Mom is not doing well. I know you don't want to hear this, but you can't ignore the reality anymore. I've been taking care of her as much as I can. I missed the dose two weeks. Oh, this is really interesting. I don't have money. Please, can you help? I really need this fast. Um, escalate the issue. Can you focus, please? Mom is sick. We need to help her. I'm sorry. This is not part of our policy. Look, I know you don't want to hear me. Now let's deal with this. I can't help. Your warranty doesn't count. You, you, you know what? You can go to hell. Yes, I finally managed to get all. Oh, okay, we had one problem here. Average ticket time, two minutes and 55. So we got money for this. Very good, Colton. I hope you call again. So let's catch up with what Spence had to say. Um, on the contrary, I want to open you up to a world of possibilities. I've got a nifty website for you. I call it Spence Oasis. Oh, genie Mike. I'm pretty well connected in the businesses and can provide you with upgrades for your system. For a price, of course. Since your job relies on commissions, my upgrades would pay for themselves in no time. All I need is for you to pay a small membership fee, say $100 to account blah blah blah. As soon as I get the money, I'll send you the app by email. You can install the file and you'll be on your way to God Dom. I gotta run, a tech god knows no rest. Peace. Um, Colton, hi, sorry for the delay, but I finally found my account information. You can send the 150, delete. The dark truth behind Quasar Telecom. This great secret, which mu which must now be divulged. The company you work for has been lying to you, as well as its customers and the population at large. And what's worse, they have been using its lie to steal and blackmail their way into success. Buried deep within their very building, you work in, in you work in is a server room separate from all others, where the data from every phone is being recorded and stored by your employer. 24/7 GPS tracking, phone call recording, reading of emails, and website tracking. Of course, they're do, you might reply. Every communication company must keep records of calls and intend internet history for their users, yet Quasar does far more than keep simple metadata. This is espionage of the people on the high to the highest degree. Imagine a complete recording of every bit of information communicated through phones, including passwords to bank accounts and private medical calls. I have nothing to hide, you might say, and that might be true, but what? Of, your demo of our democratical election, elected officials, okay, whatever. Do you trust them to be honest and forthcoming when confronted with sensitive information? You're doing a lot of talking. Last year, Quasar was awarded an exclusive television contract with government, an estimated worth of $4.3 billion, a first of our nation, and a deal with a little to no oversight. Do not trust Quasar. Do not let them charm you with their word. Charm you with their words. Oh, you. We are Indigo, and we intend to take them down one way or the other. If you value your privacy, and you value our democracy. Stand with us against the usurpers and let us free our nation from their corruption. <laughs> He's taking his job serious. All it takes is to reply to this email, nothing more. Your nation needs you. Democracy needs you. Stand by your side, brother. Well, seeing that it's company email and they possibly could not track this, let's reply. I've been very disturbed to read the allegations you brought against Quasar. I would like to see or hear more about these accusations concerning the company. Sent. Excellent. 
Oh, we're not going to get into trouble. Just to make sure we don't get into trouble, let's send a new email to Camilla. Excellent. Just making sure that she knows we still appreciate working here. New email to Spence. Yeah, it's me. I bet you never thought I'd email you like this, but somehow at the time felt right to contact you. I hope you're doing well. I never thought that working as a tech support specialist would be so hectic, but I'm glad I found a few moments to send you this email. Feel free to get back to me if you want. I'd like to hear more from you. Yes. Make him feel like he's interesting. Excellent. And um, Indigo Fox, every day that goes by, I feel more and more that things are not what they seem. Yeah, let's send. So we're going to make sure everybody's on our friends list. Okay, let's thank uh, Andras and, and Alexander again as well. I can't get my phone to keep a charge. Do a... Uh, what? Mom is dying. Well, that sounds important. Um, it was a customer in the moment. Hang on a sec. Change the battery. Excellent. We helped. I think you should buy a new headset. Beautiful, excellent stuff. I want to know more about the conspiracy though. I just saw your name in the Quasar Registry and was wondering if you could, uh, it's about Indigo email. I assume received one as well. Do you have a bit of time? Um, no. I'm just wondering if I should reply to the email and get in touch with Indigo. I just told you that I don't have time. So um, I, I can't help you. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll let you get back to work. Thank you, excellent. Great service, which left me wondering, is Kick Single. So, does that happen? You call support and because you had an amazing experience, you want to marry the person on the other end of the phone? Really? You're looking just for somebody to solve your problems? Oh, I forgot to reply to Colton. <laughs> I hope you're reading this, blah, blah, blah. Sent me the money to delete. I hope you're happy. I couldn't afford the medication, so mom is coughing up a lung. Well, she's in hospital. Like, I'm sure she's gonna be all right. I'm happy to announce that your probation period is over. Today, we'll be making you a junior tech support specialist with all the benefits that it entails. What benefits are that? You will see an immediate salary increase. Oh, for every ticket you complete. Remember that Quasar pays a higher premium for accurate tickets than, and higher customer satisfaction on your reviews. You'll know you continue to provide the best services and best technical support. I like it. The shadows upon Quasar Spence. Oh, concerning the Indigo email. Okay, let's go Spence first. Unfortunately, shadows have fallen upon our great company. Indeed, the recent emails we received from Indigo troubling, to say the least, danger lurks around every corner. Genie, Mark, your drama queen. Regular, oh, hang on a second. Your tech god, once again, has risen to the occasion. Starting today, all tier one employees will be required to perform regular security checks to confirm their identity using unique security codes attributed to each employee. So we have to remember this code. Okay, 844263 remembered yesterday we were alerted that some of you have received emails from what happened to be a terrorist group called indigo we take matters like this very seriously and internally investigation proceedings unfortunately following initial reports we were forced to fire a number of our co-workers whom we believe were working with these terrorists i didn't reply we ask that you do not communicate directly with the police. Oh, okay, that's a bit dodgy concerning this matter. Instead, all confirmation concerning Indigo information should be brought to our attention. Now I'm actually even more interested in what Indigo has to say. Finally, I would like to clarify that Quasar is not part of a conspiracy. Any, well, of course you would say that. You wouldn't say we are a part of a conspiracy, but we'd like to keep it on the hush hush. Any further communication by Indigo should be reported immediately. Terrible service. I wouldn't wish kicks on my worst enemy. Access to the castle. Customer database. As you know, we were forced to let many of our co workers go following the Indigo emails. It was unfortunate but necessary to ensure the quality of our services. This also this has also opened a few promotions, which is why we have decided to officially make you a tier two specialist. Interesting, as such, you now have access to new tools for tech support, starting with Buiz Book Pro, which you can download from this email. Well, let's install it and see what it's all about. You, you will be able to ask our customers for their account numbers and access their profiles, which allows you to see basic information. Note that you can no longer ask, ask for their warranty directly, as we only recognize warranties registered in BizBook Pro. To see a demonstration account, simply enter account number 000. So we're looking at this and we can see the person's name, their occupation, he loves clowns. Why does it matter if they love clowns? Prefers to be contacted by email rather than telephone. Called to check up on customer. So where's the warranty? Standard warranty. There we go. Uh oh I'm Special Agent Lana Black. I'm part of the investigation team concerning the emails you received from Indigo. I would like to speak to you. Do you have a moment? I'm sorry, I'm very busy. So does she work for Quasar or is she neutral? Um, police interview conducted. Technical support chart has decided. Okay, 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 fine. And there are many employees to interview. All I need is a little bit of your time. Okay, fine. Yes, I'm gonna give you my time. 
It's very precious, but I give you my time. In the email, Indigo requested that you reply to him. Did you do so? What is it if I say yes? I thought it would be best. Don't worry, it's not uncommon that people reply out of curiosity. Did they respond to you? I don't think they did, no. So I'm assuming she's not working for Quasar, but I'm assuming that Quasar is dirty, that Indigo is, is dirty, and I'm playing ball with the police and I'm gonna get them all into trouble and I'm gonna be the hero. Any message they sent you, help us track them down. You would help the investigation greatly if you sent me any message you receive. My email is Lana Black. You can send me anything relevant through here. I assume you may have discussion the matter with your colleagues. Have you noticed any unusual behavior from other Quasar employees related to Indigo? Yes, my boss. Oh, Bora Janel was intrigued by Indigo's claim. Do you know if you contacted Indigo? No, I don't, because I didn't care. <laughs> <laughs> Do you believe there is any basis? Yes. <laughs> I'm such an asshole employee. Do you have any files you could forward to us concerning this? No. Oh, we gotta be an internal spy. I love it. All the quasars not officially under investigation. We remain vigilant towards any serious accusations. Should we receive anything suspicious or incriminating in the future, I would appreciate if you could send it to me. I will. I will be the hero in the end. You gave me email twice. Does that mean you're flirting again? Any additional information, including for your copy of the original email, could make a difference. Okay. Excellent. So let's see if we can do that. Ticket completed. A copy of the original email. We're gonna forward this email on to Lana Black. At the same time, we're gonna send a new email to Kamala saying, you know, that we love working for you and it's a brilliant organization. I can send an email to an employee, uh, to, to, a, to a customer. Yeah, it's me. I'll bet you never thought I'd email you like this, but somehow the time felt right to contact you. I hope you're doing well. I never thought that working as a tech support specialist would be so hectic, but I'm glad I found a few moments to send you this email. Feel free to get back to me if you want. I like to hear, are we gonna get into trouble for doing that? I don't know, let's do it. We, why would the game let you do it? Alexander Lee, Conway State. This is one of the, okay, okay, okay. They want me to buy an estate I don't have money for? Yes, I'm very interested. Let's download that bookmark and I'm very interested. Let's reply, yes. And just to make very sure, new email, Alexander, you're amazing. I love you trying to get all my money. Interested in purchasing? Yeah, just transfer 1.3 million. Oh, <laughs> in this count. Yes, sure. Thank you for your swift response. I will do that. I will send you the money shortly. You just hold your breath and wait for it. We're on day seven now, I think, and we have no more interesting emails. I want to know what happens. I'm gonna have to wait for another email for Indigo. I really hope they're gonna reply to me, but until then, we're gonna have to do this job.